What are we talking about today? What's happening, Brady? We got a lot of pants in front of us. We got a lot of pants in front of us. Uh, today, Brady and I are going to do a little overview of the Sitka pants that we carry in the gear shop. Um, first and foremost, we were well stocked. We got a good supply of Sitka gear. So if you guys are looking to get set up for some Sitka gear this year, going into the fall, uh, we got what you need. Tons of sizes, tons of selection. And today we just wanted to run through five pairs of pants and kind of work our way through some of my favorites, some of your favorite, and just touch on some of the features and the reasons we like them, right? And I love them. Well, do you want to jump in and maybe we'll work late season to early season? Yeah, so we'll go with the latest late season pant, which is going to be Sitka's Timberline pant. And so as you can see here, it is a burly pant that can run through the season. So you can use this, you know, maybe late September, but mainly that October through November. The greatest thing I love about this is it has waterproof knee pads, and knee pads are built into it, and also it's like really mm -hmm. abrasion resistant. You can remove pads. the pads if you don't want to. Mm -hmm. yep. So you got that on the, on the front, and then on the back side, you also have the same abrasion resistance waterproofing on, obviously, your back sides. Back side. Sure. So sitting down in the snow, mud, that sort of conditions. And what Charles said too about the knee pads, what I really love about knee pads is a lot of times you're working cutting up an animal, mm -hmm. it gets really uncomfortable. Having the knee pads is kind of great. Yeah. So this is a little much for an early season hunt. You'll probably get hot in it hiking around, but if you just want, you know, some one pair of pants for that October through November, this is gonna be the ticket. Also, it is DWR treated, it's got four-way stretch. You can see it's super Super stretch, they'll move around. What's it got for pockets? It has a lot of pockets. And one of the things too, I'll mention, I like these pockets a lot more than some of these other ones because they are zippered on the uh, on the side here. So if you need to put something in there, lock it in, so you don't lose it. Maybe you have your rangefinder out. That's your hand pocket. Is yeah, your hand pocket. Yep. Yep. Not, not the cargo pocket. Yep, not the cargo. So throw a release in there, throw whatever, some extra pair of ammo, zip that up. It's got a big pocket on the front, and this is normally where I keep my rangefinder. I'm just Never been a guy to keep my rangefinder sure. on my body, keep it in my pocket. And also you have another thing here, usually I'll throw like my digiscoping adapter, adapter, stuff like that. Maybe even my rear shooting rests and my gloves, I'm trying to hike around. And I really like these, these buttons too. These buttons oh, are yeah. really quiet and just... Yeah, it's that's one thing in sick is uh, stuff that's always impressed me is just the details. So if you look at the individual buttons of these, when they, they uh, click, they're coated with almost like a... I don't know, they almost seem like they're coated and in the shape of them, they just mm -hmm. slide over and pop so there's not like the loud snap, a yeah. typical snap, but they do close really quiet. One one feature I'm surprised you haven't touched on yet because I know it's your jam. Suspenders. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a big, big suspender guy. Yeah. Just because I, I don't know, I'm a skinny guy and pants always try to, you know, fall off. But especially on the late season home, we have a bunch of layers on. Mm -hmm. I just like to, it just feels right and my pants are in the perfect spot. And I, sometimes I can go without a belt too. Don't have to worry about belts rubbing on the backpack or anything like that. Right. And it is customizable to your height just by using these little buckles, just pop them, adjust the height. So it comes on these. Another thing too I'll mention, you can, act, you can actually take these off and incorporate them on mountain pants too. Mm -hmm. And the Timberline's the only pant that comes with the suspenders, right? Yep. 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 A couple other details. And again, I love the details of Sitka gear, uh, like the, the little silicone on oh, the inside yeah. of the uh, the pant, which is going to keep them up. Same thing on the suspenders, right? You've got that little silicone mm -hmm. bead that kind of runs the back of those. It's going to keep them up, yep. kind of stuck to your shirt. So, Just a do-it-all pant once the temperatures start dropping. And uh, even for like, you know, spring type hunts, spring bear, that mm -hmm. sort of thing. It's a great pant for that. All right, now mountain pant. So this, like I said, is a very versatile pant. You could archery hunt September elk. Mm -hmm. You can go through the whole season. You can even, you know, some of that early, maybe in spring scouting or like spring bear hunting, rock these pants. They also have the knee pads built into it that you can take out. You notice here it doesn't have the reinforced knee and does not have the reinforced backside. So it's gonna be a little lighter so you can actually hike around it. That's why it's perfect for, you know, running gun, archery elk hunting, some of your late season stuff. Very versatile. All you have to really do to extend the season on this, just maybe throw a base underneath it and you can get really late, really cold. But it has the same, I believe the same sort of pocket system. Mm -hmm. The hand pockets are zippered as well. It has a big cargo pockets with that sweet little yep. button there. Yeah, and it's got buttons. those zippers going down. And again, DW, DWR treated and four-way stretch. 
articulated yeah. knee. Mm -hmm. I love that. And a pair of pants. I mean, you put, you put them on, it feels like it's just built, you know, the shape of your leg, right? So it's yeah. already ready to go. Yeah, knee pads are ideal. I just love this pant. I mean, yeah, I wear it all the time. Yeah, so it's would you say like as far as it's on par with weight wise to the Timberline, or is it a little bit lighter weight? I feel it's a little bit lighter. Yeah, like I don't get as hot wearing it. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I can just throw that one on in the morning and go through the whole day without having to uh, feel like I'm gonna get too hot. Right. And I would say the mountain pant is one of our best selling pant. It, it's it Bray's absolutely right. It's the do all pant. I mean, you can do. September elk country, mm -hmm. super versatile pant, um, really robust. It'll wear and tear phenomenally. Yeah, I mean, if you just want to buy one pant, this is the kind of one I'd yeah. probably push you to, like one pant to cover all situations. Yeah. And colors. Yeah, colors. You got three colors in that as well. Open country, so alpine, and then uh, dirt. Yeah. Which is, we were talking earlier, like one of our favorite colors for solids. Yeah, that dirt's kind of a coyote brown. Mm -hmm. It looks really good with that. And the, it's also good spring bear hunt because you can see the ticks oh, on you a lot I easier. I didn't think about that. Yeah, so you know right away, oh, gotta pick that one up. <laughs> That's a, the pro tip. Pro tip. All right, moving over to a few of my favorite options. Uh, I like those early season pants. I like the really lightweight stuff. Um, the first one I've got here is the Sitka Ascent Pant. Uh, the Ascent Pant is the first pair of pants I actually bought from Sitka way back in like 2010, I think. Um, it's their lightest pant, and even since then, they've continued to lighten it up and innovate. Um, this is the most breathable, lightweight pant. Uh, it's a four-way stretch, super stretchy. Um, one of my very favorite things about the Sitka Ascent Pant is the fit. Um, mm -hmm. I'm all about the, the fit. Um, I don't want a pant that's too big. You know, I don't like it too big and baggy through the ankle. Yeah, this pant's uh, definitely not baggy. Yeah, this is definitely more of an athletic, uh, maybe even slightly tapered fit, I would say, which is something that like I, I really, really like. Uh, you've got a couple of cargo pockets on either side. Um, you don't have those side zips, but you do have the main cargo pocket, which is uh, zipped at the top. You got a couple of hand pockets. Um, again, you've got those silicone uh, beaded interior pieces. It's just going to keep your pants up. You've got built in uh, knee pad sleeves. Although these do not come with a knee pad, you can buy the knee pads as an after, you know, aftermarket purchase. Aftermarket, is that the right word? I, I like that. One other, just a, a detail. Yes, I'm glad you're going to talk about that. Yeah. I saw it open. I was like, we got to mention that. The button or the two way zip? I like the button. Okay. The button feels really comfortable. I mean, it's super easy to do. You don't have to look down to try to, you know, button your pants. Mm -hmm. but. Yeah, the one thing I like is the two-way zip. So you've got two zippers, one going down and one going up. And if you ever get real cold and your hands are freezing and you just got to pee real quick, either one of those zippers will work, whether going up or down. Up or down. Yeah, you're going to you're gonna be able to, to get to where you need to go. So again, that's the Sitka Ascent Pant. It is by far their lightest weight pant in their lineup. I would suggest that it's the best bet for early season spot and stock hunting. If you're talking antelope hunting out in the desert, um, does come in three colors. You have it in open country camo, you have it in subalpine, and you also have it in kind of a olivey green they call pyrite, which is one of my very favorites. Mm -hmm. um, love that pant. This pant right here is fast becoming one of my very favorite pair of pants. Do you have a pair of these? I do. The Apex pant? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the Sitka Apex pant is, has become one of my very favorite pants. Um, it's got the built-in knee pads. It does come with the knee pads, which we've already touched on. We really, really like that. It's kind of a mid-weight option, so it's not as heavy as the mountain pant. It's heavier than the ascent pant. Um, it's got kind of a raised micro fleece backing, which I'm not sure if you can see that or not. Um, gives it a little bit of space, so it breathes really, really well, but it also insulates a little bit. Um, I really, really like the weight of this pant. I feel like for me, this fits 90% of my hunting that I do. So I can take this on an early season archery mule deer hunt. I can take it on an archery elk hunt. You know, I can still spot and stock some antelope. It's maybe, you know, bordering on maybe being a little bit too hot. And I can even layer up underneath this and take it on to like an October, maybe even a November uh, deer hunt if I wanted to. Would you say it's quieter? I would say it's definitely quieter. Yeah, absolutely. I think this is the quietest pant in their lineup. Mm -hmm. So spot and stock bow hunting, I think this is your go-to. Uh, again, you got a lot of the same details. You've got a couple of cargo pockets. Um, you've got those quiet snaps on the side. It does have the mesh backed internal pockets and it also has an internal pocket here. You can stuff some calls. Ooh, I don't know if I noticed that. I don't know that. if you knew that or no. not. Yeah, it's got a little internal mesh pocket that you can slide some calls or rangefinder or anything that you need uh, quick access to. I really like too how seamless 
Like, it doesn't seem like there should be pockets here when you look at it, but the pockets are actually big enough to hold something. Oh, yeah. And they mm -hmm. fit really well. You don't even notice they're there. Yeah. Um, one thing I should note is um, no back pockets on, oh, yeah. on a lot of their pants. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Some people maybe use a back pocket all the time. I don't even hardly notice it. You don't need a wallet alert, honey. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't bother me yeah. whatsoever. These two will have that back pocket. Oh, do, oh that's right. They have yep. the zip pocket. Yep, mm -hmm. they got the on the right side over here. Yep. Yep, they do. The, the Ascent and the uh, Apex, I know that they don't. Yep. So that's just details, right? And that's your, probably one of your favorite pants? I would say pants? this is fast becoming my very favorite pair of pants. Uh, fit is very close to the Ascent pant. It's more of a tapered, athletic fit. It's a little more narrow through the calf and through the uh, ankle. Um, built, like I said, spot and stock bow hunting in mind. Yep. And that's my favorite pant. It's like can make a lot of noise when you're running some brush and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And that yeah. Uh, the Traverse pant is the very last pair of pants that we have here on the table. Uh, this pant came to market, I believe, last year. Uh, this is the most economical entry point pair of pants uh, into Sitka gear. If you're looking for a do-everything kind of pant uh, at a nice price point, I would definitely push you uh, to checking out the Traverse pant. Uh, the weight of this pant, it's probably, um, it's kind of a go-between, right? So it's a little bit heavier than the Ascent pant. Um, it's a nice weight, weighted pant. I think you can do early season, you can do some mid season stuff, and you could potentially even get away with uh, some late season stuff, but you're gonna have to layer up underneath it with like a core heavyweight base. Mm -hmm. um, it's a basic pair of, of pants. I mean, you've got a couple of cargo pockets on each side with a zip uh, top. Ooh, we should mention. Yeah, you've got a, a little, what do they call that, knife protector? Yeah, utility knife. Utility knife clip, yeah little reinforced portion that you can you know pop in an everyday carry knife um, you've got the reinforced uh, belt loops which is nice again all the same details with the silicone uh, lining on the inside um, the one thing I would note probably the most interesting or most noteworthy piece of this traverse pant is that the fit is slightly more roomy so it's more of a straight cut I definitely notice it when I put this pant on versus the apex or the ascent pant it's got more room from, especially from the knee to, to, yeah, the, down by your boot. to the boot. Yep, yep. So if you need a pant to fit over a boot, you know, like a tall mountain boot, this is a better option for you. Um, no knee pads in this pant. Uh, you still get the articulated knees, but it does not have the sleeve for a knee pad. Um, you do get a back pocket here where you do not with these other two. Mm -hmm. um, this is an excellent option for an entry pant. It is pretty quiet, I would say. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep, nice fill, quite quiet. Yeah, this is one pan I've never ran. Yep, you should give them a go. What, uh, what colors? Uh, Subalpine and open country for now. Uh, so that is a brief run through from the Sitka pants that we carry in the gear shop. I've loved the Sitka pants that I've had. I've got great wear and tear. I love the fit. I love the materials. They've been really, really solid for me. Uh, I would highly suggest if you are looking for a new pair of pants, Consider the hunts that you have booked for your year and your schedule, and you can definitely find one of these that's going to fit into uh, your repertoire. Mm -hmm. Any final last words? No, just they're super versatile, super comfortable, and I guess like Charlie said, like there is options here. Whether you have an early season hunt, late season, some mid type thing, you can get by with one. And it's just depending on what kind of hunts you got coming up and what you're looking at and what you need to fill in your gear list. But there's some great options sitting here and. We've all tried them all and they all work really well. Yeah. I'm happy with every piece of performance about them. Absolutely. And you get what you pay, pair, pay for with a pair of pants. I would say it definitely makes a difference. Good gear definitely makes a difference when you're out in the field. You're more comfortable, you're more effective when you're out there. We have all of these available in a variety of sizes right now in the Go Hunt Gear Shop. Um, now's the time to pick up a new pair of Sick of Gear pants. Mm -hmm.